Yo, welcome back. Uncensored Locks. Today, a beautiful ass Sunday. Thank God for another fucking day. We're going to discuss some child, what, school support? What, school supplies? We're going to discuss, and I'm going to go ahead and put the picture in here. Probably going to be on this side, but I'm going to go ahead and put the picture in here of um, a list that was released. A school supply um, list? Yeah, but typically, I mean, growing up for me, when you get a school supply list, is what your kid is going to require, require for, that for that class right. or in elementary because they don't really go from class to class for the school year, what they're going to require. But this list that um, I came across from one of our family, uh, Sister Locke's family, this is a VPK list. And we just want y'all opinion on how appropriate or inappropriate y'all feel this is because they're asking you not only to supply your kid with their school supplies but to also to supply the school with their supplies i.e is it the school or that class basically the school though because if each class is doing it the whole school isn't responsible for having to buy that thing those things You're right. but You're right. we are paying taxes for schools right. so what are they doing with that money if it's not for like, we already have an issue with the schools not having updated books and things of that nature and the issue you always hear is it's not enough money you have schools applying for grants and all kinds of things to get these things for the school but we have literally citizens paying taxes for this exact thing right. so i just don't feel like maybe one thing like if each kid got a list and they told the parents all right this is the list of the school supplies pick one for each kid to bring in, cool. Like, you're giving each kid, I need you to bring in, I believe it was six boxes of- um, Toilet paper. Not toilet paper, but like nose tissue, basically. Like, uh, uh, Kleenex. Kleenex, right. yeah. Six uh, bottles of hand sanitizer, and then in quotations, not the small ones, the large ones. <laughs> then you're telling them, I believe six packs of Stick glue and liquid glue. Well, oh, like you say, you're gonna put a list up, so whatever it is. So it, it's excessive. So it's just like, okay, well, why can't I look at that list and be like, okay, I'll bring you six boxes of toilet paper. And another person bring in six rolls of paper towel. They're asking people to bring, I believe, it's six packs of baby wipes. So I'm looking at all of this and I'm like, where does our taxes go? What is the purpose? Like, first off, you can go to jail for not sending your kid to school, correct? <laughs> right. So you can go to jail. And not, feeding, not paying for their school lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can go to jail for this. So it's not like you have a choice to be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just keep my kid home and fuck the school system. So they make that a law. And then you have to pay taxes. Cool, you know what? We are teaching your kids. Maybe we should pay taxes for this. But if you're gonna make us pay taxes for something that you're mandatorily forcing us to send our kids to school, why aren't they being taken care of? Like, we have to send you there. But there are adults there to watch them. So if my responsibility when my kid is in my care is to feed, clothe, look after, and put a roof over their head and educate them, how is that also not, not the clothing part? Your responsibility when they're in your care if we're paying you to do this. All great points. But I just feel like at the end of the day, man, we're a community, right? Absolutely. That's why I said a list and you pick we, one to We help. are a community. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. I think the list is fair. I think the list is... Okay, I think the list is reasonable. At the end of the day, if you can't afford everything on the fucking list, bring what you can. I'm, I, that's how I feel. I don't think it's a mandatory. I'm not sure if it. Well, I remember in high school, we had gotten a list. It wasn't like that. Like, we didn't have to bring baby wipes and stuff. Because, like I said, this is a VPK list we're talking about. We got a list. My parents seen that list. Um, they looked at it, and it was like very specific things. Like, okay, you know, every kid needs folders in school. Well, these teachers want specifically a green folder. But if all they could find is a blue fucking folder, then that's what the fuck they're going to get you. Right. And now I literally had a teacher back in high school, and I'm pretty sure there's some kids. We'll find out when the school year starts if this does become an issue. I had a teacher back in high school who gave me an F every day in class for not having a green folder. Yeah. Even though I had a folder and that's all fine. my work was in it. Right. So you have teachers that, well, I told you it had to be this. And yeah, you're not gonna have to buy it. Your parents have to buy it, but your grade is gonna suffer because your parent chose not to. Yeah, well, that's petty as fuck. At the end of the day, man, back to this listing. A lot of people come, like, I seen someone comment on the things that saying that 
this helps out the people who can't afford it. Absolutely, it does. Them. But so that's I, why I said you should have a choice. At the end of the day, bro, I just don't feel any of the problem with this list. I don't understand why people are in an uproar. We can go buy fucking three hundred, four hundred dollars sneakers and shit like that, and four hundred dollars purses. All we're asking for is school supplies to go put towards these kids for their learning and experience. Period. I have no problem with providing school supplies not for only my child, but for other child because then it's gonna benefit all of them. And I wouldn't have that problem either. However, when you put certain rules in place, like we can take your kid away from you if you can't afford school lunch. These very same people that's having issues affording school lunch or the same people getting lists to support other kids. See, because I can have the mentality of, well, you know what? When I decide to have a child, I have one child. And I send my one child to school and that child is my responsibility. Why should I be financially responsible if I'm already struggling with one child to help provide for other kids if I'm already struggling with this one? Because let's be honest very honest right here if this was a private school system they're not going to ask you to support everyone else's kid right you're responsible for it not only yours but your kids tuition too not only just school supplies but their tuition too if this is a private school and they have uniforms and things like that like almost more strict than public school so the two three hundred dollar shoes probably wouldn't even be an issue because they got to wear like all black like whatever the case is right. if this is a private school and they're also partially funded by taxes i don't know if you know that would we have to deal with oh well you're going to be in trouble for not helping others or you wouldn't have to deal with no, we're not, not doing your part i get what you're saying but we're not talking about a private mm -hmm. school we're not talking i'm gonna make about my point i'm gonna, I'm gonna so, compare it so make your point then now you go into a public school that's already supported one by government two by taxes from the community mm -hmm. which is you helping already because you helped to build the school supply the books all that with your tax money mm -hmm. you're helping with the school lunch with your tax money so if you can make laws that say well you have to do this and you have to do this and you have to do that then of course parents have to take a stand where it says well if i'm already responsible for this and you're gonna you know take the steps of taking my child away in this case, then how can you expect me to be responsible for everyone else's child at this point? I have to worry about my child. All right, so because you're not putting them in a position so to be able to. So homeschooling. I agree. Don't, don't bring them to school. I agree. But at the end of the day, if you're in the system and if you're going to this class and this school where the case is, and that's what we require, try your best. And if you can't afford it, go to the teacher and say, yo, I'm, I'm going to try. This is the best I can do. And at least contribute the best you could. Because we are all a community and we all need to help each other. Simple as that. If you go by the mentality that, oh, I'm not going to take care of my child and my child, and that's it, then okay, cool, do that too. But I, No, I'm saying if I went off to that mentality, that's what it would turn to. But because of the rules that are going into place and how strict they are now making it, it's making it harder for people to be able to say, oh, well, let me help the community. I'll give you a perfect example. Not only at my job, but most schools, most grocery stores, shit, most stores right now that does anything that you know you can get school supplies at they do drives around this time of the year right and basically is where you ask people you know can you while you're making your purchase will you purchase in a box one of these items from here so you can donate and then if they purchase it you scratch off the little barcode and you throw it into another box and at a certain time all every, all the stores that are doing it, all the schools that are doing it take those supplies and it's for the needy right. so we have all kinds of programs in place for that right. people that's going out their way to help support that mm -hmm. but then you try to make it a mandatory thing why not have it where it's like hey here's a list of the things that the school need give it to the parents it's not mandatory but please help and not make them feel like well, we I, have I, to I do just this said that, but when you put it in a list mixed with everything that the kid needs now, I don't know if my kid needs six packs of glue for them or if this six packs of glue they're going to take to school and then you're going to go put it in a locker for other people. I don't know. And then when they need glue, I got to go buy them more glue? I guess. Anything else that's going to stop it? Do you, you like to play devil's advocate. Can you, in any instance, try to look at it from the other side and see how it could be a negative mm -hmm. in your way? I don't. No? No, nah, because, bro, I remember as a kid growing up, right, when this is, I don't know, this is out of the way where the kids is, but I didn't have a way to do my homework because I didn't have a computer, mm -hmm. or I didn't have Wi-Fi access to do it, so guess what, I got to ask other people to help me, yo, could you help me write this, stay on the phone with me, 
and write this essay up and then print it at your house so that we can bring to school with me. Now imagine if we had a way to go somewhere to have free Wi-Fi where the kids will mm -hmm. sit down and do our homework and have access to that. I'm pretty sure that we have that now, but before we didn't have that then. I at the end of April, we, we were sitting we, outside we, of McDonald's. We, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. We have to create a sense of community, bro. Period, dog. Period. If you, like, you, like you just said, if you can't afford these things in the list, go to the teacher and say, yo, this is what I can afford and put towards it. I'm but pretty sure. The question is, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure will that, will that child be excluded? Because that was one of the comments that was asked. Will that kid then be excluded from certain activities because, well, you didn't bring the no, things on the list? No, because that's why the other person brought six packs of fucking glue. So they can't have, have them that's fortunate. Is that just that simple? We, we need to stop having this mentality of individuality when it comes to certain things. Obviously, the first thing of human mind is self-preservation, right? That's the first thing that we I guess the whole point of that comparing and contrasting thing with the public and private school system was if I could afford to support all of these things, don't you think that I would have just sent my child to a school that but, I could pay that but money But people, people, people go to private school because well, it's more, more about teaching or... Stricter education, yeah, so-called so, so safer. Right, and many people can't afford it tuition, so obviously... But that, that was my point. All right. If I could afford to do all of that, don't you think I would have sent my kid to this type of school instead? Well, no. If I'm sending them to a public school, if I'm applying for lower reduced lunch, if I'm doing all of this, if we're having to apply for all of these programs for kids in the public school system... All right. How can you think that these are the people that can afford to do that? But how many public schools you hear is a mess? Or is, is run down or is Lying. fucked up? Okay, so at the end of the day, if this school is asking for fucking help, obviously these tax... Draco had a perfect song. What is it called? Brackets? On mm -hmm. KOD? I'm good. What, what he said on it? He said, I wish we can make our tax money go to where we want it to go. And I agree. You know what I'm trying to say? That, that was the whole point okay. that I'm making because we're paying these taxes, but then you're telling us we're paying taxes to build schools. We're paying taxes for our kids to go to schools and for the teachers to teach and all of this. Mm. For the, we literally have taxes that go to the lunch system. But we know he's not going there, probably. Where the fuck? And that was my point. We all so know that. Why? My point is, if we're paying taxes for this, then what is the point of that list? And where is the tax? That was the whole point I've been making. I'm not saying I'm against helping. I and believe I, in that. And on the flip side, let's. Who knows what the teachers are going through? Who knows if the teachers have budget cuts? You know what? Make yes. Who, who knows? They are. Who, and this is what made me want to have on, this hold video. Hold on, man. Hold on. Who knows if at the end of the day, they're trying to ask for these things and the school is like, yo, listen, we can't we can't give you but so much like this. And then that's when it came up with this list. Let me put it out there. I have plenty of people that come into my job that are teachers that I speak to all the time because you start to, like, based off of what they're getting, you kind of get an idea of what they're doing. So I asked, are you a teacher? And I asked, I said, does the school... Like, cause I remember back in the day when the teacher would go and buy stuff for the classroom, you keep the receipts, you take it to school, and the school would reimburse you, or you would fill out a form for the school to get those items for your class. Mm -hmm. And all of them have given me a very consistent answer. Literally, all of them. It hasn't been one different, which is they do not do that anymore. Only thing that the teachers are basically getting at this point is the tax free. You get a paper, it has a number on it, you bring in a paper, we put that number, and you all your taxes are taken off. Mm. So everything that they're buying for the class, that's coming out of their pocket, their, pocket, exactly. their money. If I want to decorate my class, the school's not, I have to pay for that. Right. And it's very minimal things that is being re, um, what's the word? Reimbursed to them. So with that being said, with me knowing this, it's like, okay, well, where the fuck is our taxes going? But we all, but you know, we all, listen, bro. We all know this, man. We'll create a, a fucking law or a fucking slogan and go run for fucking office and stop this bullshit that's going on. Because Basically, I, I just feel like if it's illegal to not send your kid to school, if you make it where it's something you have to do in life, they're children. Right? They, they don't have, they can't work. Whatever their parents make is their income. Outside of, you know, if they're over 15 and they have a work permit, then maybe they can. But their children, they have no control over what's happening in their parents' household right. financially. And they have no control over the rules that one, the school set or the laws that are in place. Why should they have to suffer if I can't afford it, if uh, my parent can't afford it, um, if the whole class is a class of unfortunate and none of them can afford that list and now what because my, my parents are paying taxes and they're working their ass off and their taxes are supposed to go through this but 
we're still in school that's ran down and none of the parents can really afford to do anything to help everyone else out, what is the point of us paying taxes? Okay, well, y'all let us know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe. We out. Yeah.